Why do Central Asians look more white than East Asians? And no, the answer isn't Russians. Because many in the West don't know anything about the region, they assume that since Central Asia was under Russian rule, the reason for their unique looks is admixture with Russians. But they are wrong. Neither historical records nor DNA results point to any massive admixture the way it happened in the Americas. Instead, this is the reason Central Asia historically was a place where three populations converged. The Indo-European nomadic tribes who migrated back to Central Asia from Europe, as well as ancient West Eurasian populations such as ancient Northern Eurasian who lived as far east as Mongolia. From the south, Iranian Neolithic farmers also began settling in Central Asia, increasing their admixture, and finally, from the east around the area of Manchuria, East Eurasian populations such as Baikal and Amur river hunters began migrating west into Central Asia as well. It is important to note that even this population, despite being East Eurasian, is distinct from Yellow River farmer ancestry, predominant in Han Chinese, Koreans, and Japanese. As a result, all Central Asians descend from these three groups, just in varying proportions. Pamiris and Tajiks have the highest share of Indo-European steppe and Iranian Neolithic ancestry in Central Asia, while Kyrgyz have the highest share of East Eurasian Baikal and Amur ancestry. Turkmens and Uzbeks are about two-thirds West Eurasian and one-third East Eurasian, while Kazakhs are closer to an even split. 